Hello folks. As you can see, I'm wearing my E39 M5 t-shirt today because with a bit of luck, we're gonna be spinning some wheels on our Lexus GS450H swapped BMW E39. As you will be aware from the last episode, we had our uh, gearbox in, uh, inverter in, oil pump controller in, shifter linkage hooked up, and I think I had the prop shaft in. Uh, I'm not sure, I think I had the prop shaft in, but anyway, prop shaft's in. So, last couple of days, I have been pulled around doing other things in the old homestead, but I did get a chance to do a lot of wiring on the VCU. Um, so our VCU is now in there, and uh, getting ready for power up. So we're gonna go ahead and um, do a few tests. I've already, uh, before making the video, I did my safety check with the heating element and just to make sure there was nothing silly going on in there. And uh, so we're ready to start up the car and push the throttle. So, Things that we still have to do on this reconversion uh, will be fitting a charger. Somehow getting a DC DC converter. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that yet. Um, I was going to fit the Model 3 PCS that I was recently donated, but we are keeping that for another project that will be announced soon. Very soon, if you guys keep subscribing to this useless channel, because pretty soon we're going to have 25,000 subs, as they say. See, subs, I'm getting into the YouTube um, lingo. Um, so the problem is, if you guys are going to keep subscribing and keep liking my useless videos, then I'm going to have to do some kind of a big event for old PooTube if we get to 25,000 subs. So do me that favor, folks, and dislike and unsubscribe yourself so that I don't get to 25,000 subs and we don't have to do anything stupid. I mean, you don't want to watch me do something stupid, do you? No, nobody does. So, enough about this. Let's go over to Diot and see if we can spin some wheels. Hopefully not have any fires or things like that. Um, which would make good clickbait though. And we'll come back then and see where things are. So here we go. All right, so under the bonnet here, um, it doesn't look too much different from our last view. Uh, we have our inverter hooked up. Uh, mounted on our frame. Also back down there you'll see our little oil pump controller mounted in there. Um, we have our 3D printed cover on our high voltage terminals uh, going into the inverter. And over here on this side we have our data and comms lines going into the multi-plug on the inverter. I guess finally, just back over that side, we have our first coolant line in the inverter here. Don't have the second one hooked up because we don't have our charger. Our charger will be going in somewhere here. That will need liquid cooling. But with all the other cooling pipes in there, they're hooked up to the gearbox, um, radiator, pump, and all that. Up here then, in the E-box, we have our Zombie Varter VCU. Uh, running the latest release uh, firmware with the new uh, little adapter board on there for the Wemos uh, Wi-Fi. So, as of right now, uh, we can turn on the car, turn on the HV, and we can spin the wheels. Um, can't go out driving yet, because as I say, I don't have the cooling hooked up, and I want to do a few more tests anyway. Uh, before doing that, but we are very near uh, to being able to drive the car. 
So I'll just show you uh, quickly inside. I think we showed you this the last time, but show you again with our automatic shifter um, is set up here and that's working now. We can go park neutral, reverse and drive with that guy. Uh, so we'll do that now in a minute. Uh, I've still got to put in all the, got to put all the trim back in like all this and get the, get the, uh, the lights working, get the instrument cluster and the rest of the car coded so that it believes it's an automatic because as of now it's coded to be a manual. So I've got to get into that. Uh, can of worms as well. Uh, but anyway, uh, you're not here to listen to all of that nonsense. Let's get the car turned on and let's get spinning wheels. Okay, so should be in neutral. Just check that. That's drive. So yeah, that's neutral. So let's go ahead and crank up the key. And we're now uh, started up. Um, here a little bit of inverter whine. So I'll just shift into drive. And if we push the throttle, Oh yeah. We start moving. Okay, so there's drive, neutral, reverse. There we go. Back to neutral, and I'll bring you outside and we'll show you some wheel spinning. All right, so into drive. Into reverse. back to neutral well folks that worked out uh, a lot better than anticipated uh, so as I said there one of the things I'm gonna have to do once I get the automatic shifter hooked up is to recode the land yacht uh, for automatic gearboxing so I'm going to have to get back at that whole NCS expert thing that wrecked my head uh, the last time that I tried it. Also kind of wrecked the car a bit too, but let's not talk about that. Um, so are there any NCS expert, NCS expert experts out there, uh, leave me a comment below and I will mercilessly pick your brain and then um, not give you credit and make myself look good on camera so that I get all the plaudits. Um, so as I said, the other thing we need to do is we got to get a charger in here. I do have a charger on the way. It was meant to get here today, but of course it didn't. Uh, it is a, <clears throat> a Volkswagen charger. Um, I can't let the can't let the land yacht hear that because then it might you know, it's gonna go Christine on me and you know then I get crushed against the wall of the barn or something you know so uh, once the German charger turns up uh, we're gonna have to do some reverse engineering on that um, have got some can captures thanks to a member of the Open Inverter Forum. So we'll be installing that charger in the yacht and uh, getting our charging back up and running and hopefully be able to make a little module for the Zombie Verter VCU to run that charger over CAN. Uh, I'm not sure how that other German car maker um, do their DC-DC converter. Is it a separate unit? Is it built into the charger? I don't know. So... 
that might be another option for us. In any event, uh, in, in the next semi-exciting episode, uh, you will see us hopefully driving the yacht uh, with our GS450H. And that uh, is really good for the Zombieverter development uh, side of things as well, because then we have a driving vehicle uh, with a Lexus, um, Toyota Lexus drive system in it so that I'll be able to debug anything that comes along and um, also serve as a very good test bed for uh, VCUs uh, before they get shipped out. So, also serve as a good test bed for that German charger um, and figuring out how to control that. So that's about the size of things at the minute, folks. I'm going to leave you there. This video is probably sufficiently long and boring now not to accidentally make its way up the old PooTube rankings because as I said, don't subscribe or I'm gonna to have to do something stupid. Right, that's enough from me then. And as always, don't forget to dislike, do not share. Do not subscribe to this nonsense. Uh, do check the links in the description for GitHub and um, Open Inverter Forum and other um, more worthy people in there that I have linked to. And also you'll find links in there for Patreon and PayPal for donations, but no, don't do that because more resources means more stupid projects like this that nobody wants. So. I suppose, until next time, happy German charger hacking.